Wendy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a flip through for you in my A5 nude planner from Cloth and Paper. Um, if you'd love to see more, please follow me on Instagram at Obsessed with Paper for my decorative planning style and Cindy P Plans for my minimal decorative, for my minimal planning style. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So this beautiful A5 nude cloth and paper planner I found on the um, cloth and paper BST. Someone gladly sold it to me. Um, I guess they that they weren't just that they were not using it so um, I guess that's why they sold it. It came in pretty good condition in the original packaging and the bag. The only thing that I can say is that when it came there was a little gap in the rings right here which I mean is a little bit annoying because when I turn the pages sometimes it snags right here but other than that like it was in very very good condition so I went ahead and purchased it. Um, currently, I am using this A5 Rings as a functional planner. Yes, currently I'm using this A5 Rings as a functional planner. So this is where all of my like, you know, functional pre-planning things happened. I also use a um, Erin Condren academic planner for like school planning, Bible study, budgeting, um, stuff like that is in here. And then I use this big Papa for um, memory scrapbook planning. So that's my current 2020 planning system right there. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So I am in love with this setup. I used to have a black and gray theme, like a black, gray, and white theme um, when I was using my A5 Filofax planner. And if you go through my Instagram, you can see like, in my pictures where I had a black and white like theme planner. That planner I love so much. Um, I do wish like the configuration of the pockets was a little bit different because it was hard to put cards in there because um, they were on the side. I won that planner in a giveaway from Maddie Plans and I am so grateful because she is the one that got me into this like minimal planning style and um, gifted me my first planner and I fell in love ever since. So we're just going to start here with the pockets. Let me zoom you guys in. So in the pockets here, this front pocket, um, I have just a journaling card from Cloth and Paper that says, Normality is a paved road. It is comfortable to walk on, but no flowers grow. And I am subscribed to her sub box, so this journaling card came in one of her sub boxes. So I just keep this up here, as well as this Persevere journaling card. I don't know if this came with an order. I'm pretty sure it came like in a um, sub box, because that's how I get most of my stuff. I either order it from her website, but I don't order from her too much, because <laughs> I'm trying to like save money. And everything she comes up with is so cute, but... Um, I mainly like try to stick to the sub box because it's already like something I'm paying for. So this just has the definition of persevere here and I just keep it out like here. These three cards, these are like colored, um, I think they're like journaling cards. I have some routine cards coming in the mail so these were like the original plan but then I found um, some cards that are coming that are going to replace these so it just has my morning or was it was supposed to have my morning routine my nightly routine my monthly and weekly routine and then my daily routine but I'm going to replace these when they come in then I just have this beautiful gold ruler it has a little bit of fingerprints on it but um, this ruler is from my shop, Charmed and Poised right now we're on vacation just because I thought it would be less stressful for me finishing out my semester to focus on school and um, work. So I work full time and I go to school in the evening and finals season <laughs> in law school is very stressful um, just because, or it's more stressful than normal just because um, we go to school all year or all semester long. We attend lectures all semester long and there's no other grades. You don't have any other grades. So your final is your only grade in the class. So um, 
we have to study for weeks on end to take this one exam that's going to determine our grade for the entire class. So it's a little bit stressful. So with that going on and then COVID-19 going on, I didn't know how my post office was going to react to the mail. Um, I just closed my shop for now, but I will be reopening hopefully in July. Um, my state, Maryland, has lifted our stay at home order, but um, we're on a safer at home order now. So um, just dealing with that. So if you like this, <laughs> you can find it in my shop as long as, as well as these gold um, jumbo paper clips that you see in my planner. Those are also from my shop. I have them in gold, black, rose gold, and silver. So this little leopard heart is from Little Magic Prints. I was subscribed to her Patreon um, like months and months ago, but I had to cancel my subscriptions just because I was going on a no spend and I just, I liked her stuff a lot, which you, you can see some of it will be in my planner. Um, when I do get in a spendy mood again, I will resubscribe, but that's from there. This is this journaling card here that says gratitude there is always something to be thankful for is from sequins and paper and it's just like one of those printable she has some printable journaling cards in her shop which that is from there this is a journaling card okay so this journaling card here just says je ne sais quoi and it's from Elmon paper co it just came in one of my orders but i thought it matched my like nude white black um theme very well so i just Put that in here um i also have these nude um transparent stickers from cloth and paper and it just comes in a pack of five with different shapes so it comes in the dots the hexagons the squares and the corners and the tape i realized in this set that like some of the stickers are like different colors a little bit um, I don't know if I just got a faulty set or that's just how it is, but I mean, I've been using them anyway, so there's that. This gold bookmark is from um, my friend Alex's shop, Paper Dove Shop, and um, I just like it because it brings in the gold and the bows are pretty. This, um, you can make anything by writing, journaling card just came from cloth and paper from one of the sub boxes and it just matched my theme so I put it in here and then this beautiful bobby pin journaling card is from Peach Palm and that just came in one of my orders as well. This lace um, paper is from Michaels and I just cut it down. I had cut it down when I was in my B6 size so it's a little bit short but I mean I think it still looks pretty in here anyway so I just keep that in here. And then I just layered everything in here because I just thought it looked cute <laughs> in here this way. So I'm um, just going to put everything back just like so. And then this goes in here like this. And that's my front pocket. So I'm going to zoom you guys out and move into the inserts. So the inserts I have in here, most of them are from cloth and paper. Um, if there's anything else in here other than cloth and paper, I'll state it. And some of the inserts I won't be able to show you guys fully because it has personal information on there. So I'll show you the most that I can. Um, this 2020 dashboard is from Cloth and Paper. I'm pretty sure most of the subscription items that come in her sub boxes also come into her shop when she has like overstock. So some of these you can still get in her shop. Um, the dashboard underneath, which is either like, I think it's like Italy or um, Paris streets, um, that came in a sub box as well. And I just layered it like so because I just thought it was really cute and the nude matched the planner so <laughs> as you can tell the theme is if it matches just stick it in um this gold wide paper clip is from my shop charmed and poised um on this side I just added a little bit of tortoise washi from simply gilded and 
this tortoise, tortoise washi is so cute. It's like one of my favorites. Um, I haven't used the 15 millimeter yet just because it's kind of big. So I have been using um, this 10 millimeter size and she still has this in her shop if you're interested in purchasing. This journaling card again is from Paper Dove Shop. I just like that it was gold and it said balance. Um, and um, it was cute, so I put it in here. I also have this 2020 Year at a Glance vellum and I just put a nude page flag. It kind of looks orange now, but it's definitely nude. Um, I think it is the Mocha. Yeah, so it's these Mocha page flags from Cloth and Paper. I just put one here so that I can mark the month that it is and when it turns to June I'll just move it over. Um, there is that vellum. And then here I have this four sleeve like credit card holder but I've just used it to put in some pictures. So me and my boyfriend last summer went to like a wine fest at this local winery and it was so fun we took some pictures with my Polaroid and literally the Polaroid pictures are the perfect fit so this is just us together and then he took a bomb picture of me by myself and then these are again from the same um printable uh printable I think sheet that you can buy from sequins and paper so I just added that in there I need to make new task cards that match my planner. Um, I I want to buy the ones from Maddie Plans, but I'm waiting to get off her wait list. So, and this is what I mean, like here it snags a little bit, which is kind of annoying. But um, I want to add the task cards to the back of this. I also have like um, another credit card holder, so I might add that in here. But since the rings are so small, it's like, it's already chunky. Like. <laughs> My planner is so thick right now, so it's kind of hard to add like more things in here, but um, I wish, I need to either figure out like if I can change the rings in here to a bigger set of rings without damaging the planner, or I'm just going to have to like deal with putting a smaller amount of inserts in here. But anyway, this is my white um, inbox dashboard also from Cloth and Paper, and so are these. Um, Post-it notes, I just use this inbox dash, inbox vellum um, dashboard just to put some things that I need to get done. On the back, I just have these long marble um, post-it notes from Paper Dove Shop. And here, I just put, um, I just put one here because I'm doing a no spin challenge for May and it's been a little difficult because I get FOMO from not buying all of the pretty things I see on Instagram. And I think that like in the beginning of the month I failed because I was just under a lot of stress and I am an emotional shopper. I can admit that. And um, I just put like the goal and like some struggles and some lessons that I've um, been learning along the way. Um, this grid paper is from Elmon Paper Co. And this organic dashboard is from it's not a, it's a dashboard but it's a vellum dashboard from um cloth and paper these glass dividers are also from cloth and paper as i said a lot of this stuff in here is from cloth and paper these glass dividers are from cloth and paper and so is this like black black monthly tab all of the dividers are from cloth and paper so this is from cloth and paper as well i feel like this is the ad for cloth and paper i don't i'm not an affiliate of hers I just like her stuff because it's very simplistic looking so I'm just gonna forego saying cloth and paper for the rest of this video if I me don't mention it it's from cloth and paper if I do I'll tell you what the shop is um where the other things from where the other things in my planner are from other shops so I just have my yearly goals inserts in here and I won't be sharing those just because it's a little bit personal I have personal goals in here and um my boyfriend's goals are also in here as well. This is a journaling card I got from Michaels. And this beautiful dangle clip is from Kubo and Lucy. I am a PR for her. So you can use my code Cindy May for 20% off at her shop. And this is just the pearl and diamond like combination in gold. And I thought it was so pretty. So I just added that to my planner. 
most of the dangles in here are from Kubo and Lucy. She's a great, like, Yuxing is so wonderful. She's like the sweetest shop owner I know. She's very supportive. Um, and all of her dangles are like so super cute. So um, I just have this vellum dashboard and the, um, like this, this swipe, like paint swipe dashboard is from Elmon Paper Co. And I just layered that as so. And I think I've messed up some of this layering that I have here. So like I was saying um, for Kubo and Lucy, this heart dangle is from Kubo and Lucy as well. And then this journaling card is from Little Magic Prints and it came in my Patreon subscription along with like this leopard heart um, and some stickers. I just like this girl because she's very like nude and green and it matched my um, setup so I just used her right here. So I have my 2020 weekly dated inserts in here. These are the holidays. When a holiday is finished I just um, use a Tombow to just mark off where we are in the year. Another um, dashboard. So here I have these self-care journaling cards from Lux Plans and I know she has a um, dashboard now with this self-care practices and I, I really want to get it because um, I am a busy bee and <laughs> if you couldn't tell I literally um, sometimes don't take time to myself which is something I need to work on this year or for the remainder of this year. I work in the morning and then I go to school at night and it's just like a constant routine that I kind of like get myself lost in and then in the weekend on the weekend I like work on school and work on things for work so I'm like constantly working so the only time I have like a little time to myself is like when I decide to plan and I was um behind in planning for like the longest time I just had some time to catch up so I just put this here as a reminder that it's okay to take time to myself and I need to do that so I love these journaling cards so much and it's from Lux Plans and these bobby pin washi strips are from a roll that I got at Peach Palm this beautiful journaling card that I taped on here with some washi is from Nubian Chic Designs. Um, I love her drawings. They're so cute. And um, there's not that many, like when I go to look for like journaling cards or like dashboards and stuff, there are not that many that offer um, like authentic women of color <laughs> journaling cards or dashboard so the quality of this paper is so good like I don't know where she gets the paper from where she prints off these dashboards but it's so good I love it so much so go check her out this leopard dangle is also from Kubo and Lucy so here I just added a pocket just a clear pocket from um my shop and then these different cir circle cup these different colored circle um transparent dots are from aliexpress they just come on a huge roll and i just cut the sheets down to size these habit tracker post-it notes are from cloth and paper and i just jump into may so i haven't done my may calendar but i'm gonna go back and do it just because quarantine and finals <laughs> um and my cert paper that I had to do. Um, it was just a stressful beginning of the month, so I didn't get a chance to do it, do my um, monthly calendar. But when I was setting my planner up, um, I did have in mind that I needed to do it, so I need to go back and do that. Um, I have two monthly calendar views. So the first one, which is this one, is usually for my shop, and then the second one is for like my life <laughs> so that's why I have two in here if you see two this is uh insert from eight lotus or infinite lotus I don't know why I said eight lotus infinite lotus that I use to like pre-plan my week before I use my weekly inserts this clip is from peonies papery 
And then I go into my weekly dated inserts from Cloth and Paper. So I just fill this out every month and um, it helps me keep organized. Again, I didn't get a chance to fill out my monthly layout. I'm just gonna flip to like this empty week of my dated inserts. Obviously it hasn't been filled out yet because um, today is Sunday while I'm fil filming this and this is tomorrow. So this I use during the week and then the inserts that you guys just saw from Infinite Lotus I used to pre-plan. This morning mindset vellum is from cloth and paper and then I just have this today um, divider here also from cloth and paper that I just used to mark um, like what week it is and then I just have layered on here a dangle from Kubo and Lucy this getting my shit together journaling card from Nubian um, Nubian why can't I think Nubian rock chick and then um, this monthly journaling card that I just put some like goals for the month on there so we just go to the back and I just put like habit trackers right here this is my mood tracker I'm gonna just go through it really quick um, I just used this to track my mood for the month so I just put like my mood and this is my mood key that I just used that's what I use the transparent dots for um, from Aliexpress And then here are my daily inserts that I use. Lately, I haven't been feeling like using this daily inserts because um, I'm literally working from home and then studying for my, well, my finals are over now and um, I'm on summer break. So I feel like it'll just be work from like seven to 3.30 and then I literally have like, not that it's a waste of an insert, but I feel like unless I have like important like busy meetings or something all day then that's when I'll pull these daily inserts in but I usually just use the weekly view and the, like the pre-planning inserts this is my financial section um I'll show you a little bit of it but not too much because it has like personal numbers and information in here um so the first most of these inserts came from the like financial box subscription box um so again all these are from cloth and paper this is again from nubian rock chicks and these are just the budget inserts so i just have my monthly budget in here which an empty one looks like this so you just can split your budget into sections and then here i have this dashboard that says on a mission to build an empire and leave a legacy from um, on Paper Co. And then I have my monthly expenses inserts in here. Um, and then I have this dangle from Kubo and Lucy. And then I just have my purchase tracker in here, which looks like this, but it's double sided. And I just use it to keep track of um all of the planning supplies that i bought then i just have this savings tracker in here and then this is also from elm on paper co which is a business finance bundle that i use for my shop and it's a collaboration with maddie plans and then flipping to the next tab it's i just have this vellum dashboard here and then these recommendation inserts that I really like that I just have a few things on here then I have these half um, these half note inserts that I just like like to write little notes on then I have some more note inserts from infinite lotus there I just have some more notes because I like to write in them um, back there. And then I have my projects here, which is right now it's just like revamping my YouTube. So I just have like some 
YouTube video ideas here and like YouTube goals I have for my channel. And then lastly, I have a passwords insert from Infinite Lotus. So I'm just gonna flip that. And then I just have like a black folder here. Um, I don't really remember where I got this from. Um, I'm not sure if it was El Monte Pro or what, but I just have like a black administrative folder back here. And then this clear like pocket is just from Filofax. It came with my other planner, but I just stuck it in here just as like a um, sleeve to protect um, the rings from back here and to protect this like nude cover back here. And that is literally my whole planner flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for more minimal planner videos or what you would like to see on my channel. And I hope you guys subscribe and have a good week. All right, bye.